Former Minneapolis police officer Tutau's attorney argued that he was not actively taking part in George Floyd's death, adding his actions that day were following his MPD training. Tao, seen here holding back the crowd while the other three officers restrained Floyd. In his 177-page decision, Judge Peter Cahill calls Tao's actions that day objectively unreasonable. In court documents, he points to the type of restraint that Floyd was held in by the officers, saying, Tao knew that this prone restraint was extremely dangerous because it can cause asphyxia and the inability to breathe. Floyd told officers repeatedly that he couldn't breathe. Judge Cahill added, he actively encouraged the other three officers and assisted their crime by holding back concerned bystanders, declining to render medical aid to Floyd, not instructing any of the other three officers to render medical aid to Floyd, and not permitting any of the bystanders to render medical aid to Floyd, including the off-duty Minneapolis firefighter on the scene, trained in CPR. The Floyd family sent Care 11 a statement through their attorney, saying, with each of these measures of justice, it is even more so demonstrated that police brutality is an illegal and punishable act. Attorney General Keith Ellison says the prosecution has ended, but Floyd's murder is not behind us, adding, quote, there is much more that prosecutors, law enforcement leaders, ranked and file officers, elected officials, and the community can do to bring about true justice in law enforcement and true trust and safety in all communities. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.